Да, да. Okay. Third candle. Chapter 22, text number 16. Kama. Sa Buyan Naradeva Te Sha Putra Samam Naya Vido Pratita Ka Eva Te Tanayam Nadrieta Swayaiva, Kancha, Chipatim, Iva, Shreyam, Kamaksabuyan, Nadadevatesha, Kamaksabuyan, Nadadevatesha, Pujya Samam Naya, Vido Pratitaha, Pujya Samam Naya, Vido Pratitaha, Kaevate Tanayam Nadrieta Kaevate Tanayam Nadrieta Swayaiva Kantya Chipitim Iva Shriyam Swayaiva Kantya Chipitim Iva Shriyam Okay, let's go around now. Kamasa Buyan Naradeva Desya Kamasa Buyan Naradeva Desya Putriya Saman Naya Pudhya samanya vidao pratitya Kaevate tanayam nadriyeta Kaevate tanayam nadriyeta Svayaiva kantya kshipatim ivashyam Svayaiva kantya kshipatim ivashyam Kamaksa buya naradeva tesya Pucha samam naya vidho pratita Taevate tanayam nadriyeta Svayaiva kantya chipatim ivashriyam Kama Sabuya Naradeva Tesha Putriya Samanaya Vito Pratyata Pucha Samanaya Vito Pratita Kaeva Te Tanayam Nadrieta Kaeva Te Tanayam Nadrieta Svaya Iva Kantyakshipatim Svayaiva kantya chipatim ivashriyam Kamasabuya naradeva tesya Pritya samam naya vidho pratita Kaeva te tanayam nadrieta Svayaiva kantya chipatim ivashriyam Kamasabuya naradeva tesya Putriya samam naya vidho pratita Kaeva te tanayam nadrieta Svayaiva kantya kshipatim ivashriyam Svayaiva kantya chipatim ivashriyam Anyas? Kamasabuya naradeva tesya Pucha samam naya vidho pratita Kaeva te tanayam nadrieta 
Shriyam Kama Desire Let it be fulfilled Not a Deva O King Te Your Asya This Putriya of the daughter, Samamnaya Vido, in the process of the Vedic scriptures, Pratita recognized, Ka who, Eva in fact. Te, te your, your. Tanayam, Tanayam daughter Naadrieta Na would not adore Swaya by her own Eva alone Kantya bodily luster Chipatim, excelling, Eva, as if, Shriyam, ornaments, per, or translation, let your daughter's desire for marriage, which is recognized in the Vedic scriptures, be fulfilled. Who would not accept her hand? She is so beautiful that by her bodily luster alone, She excels the beauty of her ornaments. Перевод. Пусть же исполнится желание твоей дочери вступить в брак, освященный авторитетом ведических писаний. Кто может отказаться от ее руки? Она так прекрасна, что своим сиянием затмевает великолепие надетых на нее украшений. Report by His Divine Grace, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Karta Mamuni wanted to marry Devi Huti in the recognized manner of marriage prescribed in the scriptures. As stated in the Vedic scriptures, the first class process is to call the bridegroom to the home of the bride and hand her to him in charity with a dowry of necessary ornaments, gold, furniture, and other household paraphernalia. This form of marriage is prevalent among higher class Hindus even today and is declared in the Shastra to confirm great religious merit on the bride's father. To give a daughter in charity to a suitable son-in-law is considered to be one of the pious activities of a householder. There are eight forms of marriage mentioned in the scripture, Manusamhita, and only one process of marriage, Brahma or Rajak Sika marriage, is now current. Other kinds of marriage by love, by exchange of garlands, by kidnapping the bride are now forbidden in Kali Yuga. Formerly, Chachiyas would, at their pleasure, kidnap a princess from another royal house, and there would be a fight between the Chachiyas and the girl's family. Then, if the kidnapper was the winner, the girl would be offered to him in marriage. Even Krishna married Rukmini by that process, and some of his sons and grandsons also married by kidnapping. Krishna's grandson kidnapped Duryodhana's daughter which caused a fight between the Kuru and Yadu families. Afterward, an adjustment was made by the elderly members of the Kuru family. Such marriages were current in bygone ages, but at the present moment, they are impossible because of the strict principles of Chetri life have practically been abolished. Since India has become dependent on foreign countries, the particular influences of her social orders have been lost. Now, according to the scriptures, Everyone is a Shudra, and so-called Brahmins, Chatriyas, and Vaishyas have forgotten their traditional activities, and in the absence of these activities, they are called Shudras. It is said in the scripture, Kalo Shudra Sambhava. In the age of Kali, everyone will be like Sudras. The traditional social customs are not followed in this age, although formerly they were followed strictly. Кардама Муни хотел сочетаться с Девахути браком, придерживаясь всех правил священных писаний. 
В Ведах сказано, что самый лучший способ заключения брака состоит в том, что отец невесты приглашает жениха в свой дом и вручает ему девушку, не требуя выкупа и дав за ней предание, украшения, золото, мебель и другие предметы домашнего обихода. Этот вид брака до сих пор остается самым распространенным в высших слоях индусского общества. И согласно шастрам приносит отцу невесты великое благо. Обычай отдавать дочь достойному жениху, не требуя, не требуя за нее выкупа, является одной из форм благочестивой деятельности, которой шастры предписывают заниматься домохозяине. В Манус Мрите описаны восемь форм брака, однако в наше время приемлема только одна из них – брахма или раджасика. Все другие формы бракосочетания – Брак по любви, брак через обмен гирляндами или похищение невесты в век Кари запрещены. В былые времена Кшатри иногда удовольствие ради похищал девушку из другого царского рода, а затем вступал в сражение с членами ее семьи. И если похититель побеждал, девушку отдавали ему в жены. Сам Кришна женился на Рукмине, воспользовавшись этим способом. И точно так же вступили в брак некоторые из его сыновей и внуков. Внуки Кришны похитили дочь Друйоданы что привело к войне между родами Яду и Куру. Мир был восстановлен только благодаря усилиям старших членов рода Куру. Подобные браки были распространены в минувшие времена, но в наше время они неприемлемы, поскольку строгие принципы, которые регламентировали жизнь кшатриев, сейчас забыты. С тех пор, как Индия была захвачена чужеземцами, сословие индусского общества перестало играть ту роль, которая им была отведена. В наш век, согласно ведическим писаниям, каждый человек является шудрой. Так называемые браманы, кшатри и вайши оставили свои традиционные занятия. И поэтому их нельзя назвать иначе, как шудрами. Калау шудра сам бава, сказано в священных писаниях. В век кали все люди будут подобны шудрам. В наше время люди перестали следовать традициям и обычаям, которые неукоснительно соблюдались в минувшие века. Омагьяна Тимиранда Сягинандина Шилакая Чаксура Милитаньяна Тасмай Ши Гуравейнама Ши Чайтанья Манобистам Стапи Тамьяна Бутале Свайям Рупа Кадамаям Дадати Свападантикам Вандейхам Ши Гуру Ши Юта Парикамалам Ши Гуру Вайшнавам Ща Ши Рупам Саджаджатам Сахагана Рагунатан Витам Там Садживам Садве там, Сабаду там, Париджана Сахита, Кришна, Чайтанья Девам, Ши Ши Радха, Кришна Падан, Сахагана Лалита, Ши Вишакан Витам. Нама Ом Вишну Падая, Кришна, Кристая Бутале, Шимати Бхакти, Веданта Свамини Нама, Намасте Сарасвати Деве, Горавани Прачарани, Нирвисеша Шунибари, Пасчача Деса Тарине. Ванча Калпа Трубиас Ча, Крипа Синдубия Эйва Ча, Патитана, Абане Био Вайшна Вебио Нама. Нама Махабара Ньяя, Кришна Према, Прадая Те, Кришная Кришна Чайтанья, Намани Гора Туше Нама. Ванча Татмакам, Кришна Бхакта Рупа Сарупакам, Бхактаватарам Бхактакьям Намами Бхакти Шактикам. Эй, Кришна, Каруна Синду Дина Банду Джагатпате Гопеша Гопика Канта Рада Канта Намостите. Тапта Канча Нагоранге Радхе Вринда Ванишари Вишабану Сутте Деви Пранамами Хари Кришна Тадия Пада Панкаджапанджарантам Адьяйба ме висету манасараджа хансан, прана пранама самае капавата питай, кантаваро данавидо смаранам кутасте. Окей, so we know these stories of the kidnappings, right? Мы знаем все эти истории с похищением, верно? I think I told the other day, but not all of you were here. Я, мне кажется, я упоминал про эти истории в другой день, но не все из вас тут присутствовали. Some, America, я рассказывал про преданных, которые находятся в Америке, они в индийской теле. И они боялись очень читать Кришна Бук своим дочерям. And I said, what? Я спросил, почему? Они сказали, ответили, что... Они, дочь задает вопросы, но у нас нет ответов. 
So I said, what? She said, the daughter said, why did Krishna kidnap Rukmini? Kidnapping is bad. Right? Because kidnapping is in the news all the time. It's always demons and they're demanding money and they have so many movies about it. Rich, rich people are dangerous to be rich and kidnap their children. So they did not answer. Because they don't know the history and they don't know the culture. Of course, in the, in the case of Rukmini, she begged Krishna, she'd ask him, please kidnap me. <laughs> so, but even... Kshatriyas did things like that. But Krishna didn't do that for the other wives. He went in the bona fide and won the Swayambara contest. Because uh, the fathers wanted Krishna and they knew only Krishna could. They set up such a difficult thing. Only Krishna could. But we don't do that anymore. In the same way, but now there's love marriage, so-called love marriages. In India, that's what they call when it's not arranged by the parents. They're in love. That's what most of the, I think, the Hindi Bollywood movies are about. Kuch, kuch, hotehe. When they see each other, something happens. The girls from a rich family, the boys from a poor family, the parents. Right? And that, that goes on. And definitely true. We had a family in Japan, so he had all the daughters married to rich men. And they were okay. Then the youngest daughter, she had a boyfriend from a very poor family. And the father was forcing her to marry some rich guy. And the rich guy was drunkard and beefy. And the father was very angry. Finally forced and it never worked. <laughs> then the family just kicked her out. And then she, you know, in Indian culture, very hard to get married again. Well, it's not the way it should be. But the father, it's if he can find a good husband, it's very difficult nowadays. That's like Prabhupada preached and you know on the ideal levels a lot. He was saying a woman should be protected, she should have a husband. And especially one quite long talk with a reporter and she just couldn't and, you know, she didn't get into the, Finally, she, afterward, the devotee said, well, Prabhupada, many of these women, they've been abused by fathers, by husbands. So Prabhupada said, that's the problem, there's no good man. Father can't find a good man, he just, but he thinks he has to get the daughter married. But he, so that's Kali Yuga. It's not easy to find good people. But if someone takes to Krishna consciousness, they can change. <laughs> but we have to make sure we're sticking to it. You know. 
We had the evidence that like in this song Jagai and Madai there proof. Prabhupada said all of my disciples were Jagai. But not that bad. They were murder, rapists. But I don't know if any of Prabhupada's disciples, maybe a couple, you know, weren't meat, beef eaters before and all kinds of, you know, some were educated, they were working. They, like, I know when in England, a lot of the Indian the Hindus, they say, well, Prabhupada's disciples are all hippies, they're all drug addicts. Thinking we're better than they are because we're Indians. One of my godbrothers said, I never even drank beer. <laughs> you know, he graduated the university and was doing something. He became a devotee. So, but it doesn't matter what anybody was. Это не имеет значения, кто кем был до этого. You know, what matters is what they is. То, что имеет значение, это то, кем они являются сейчас. What they are, I guess you'd say, in proper English. На правильном английском you know, What they are now, what they're doing now. Кем они являются count. сейчас, что они делают в настоящее время. The birth doesn't make any difference. Потому что рождение, оно не имеет значения. If somebody is born in the most high Brahmin family, but they're drunkards or they're or they're working in the bank or they're engineers or they're not brahmanas they might have the name but they're not and if someone is you know brahmanas are complaining in India now because they're born brahman but they're not getting treated can't get the good jobs. They keep different jobs for different birth type people. But that whole system is just a big perversion. But, but the Brahman is meant to study scripture, teach scripture, worship, do puja, get those kind of things. Live a simple life. Not take a job and get a salary and get rich. So, and the marriage, so here anyway, Kardama is accepting the offer. And it's all, they're always quoting scripture. According to scripture. And he's also appreciating, he's appreciating and confirming, you know, what what Manu said about the daughter. It says that when they, when they gave, the rich men would give their daughter in charity, they would give this dowry, but it wasn't like the man demanded that. And that's another misunderstanding of modern People hear about India and think, oh, it's horrible because they think that's the Vedic culture. The men go and say, if you give me so much money, I'll marry your daughter. And the father is thinking that the daughter has to get married, so he promises. Even if he doesn't have the money. But Kardama Muni, he didn't give anything, just the daughter. Because what would he do with thousands of maidservants and chariots and elephants and horses? So he just, the daughter is the most valuable thing. But in, in the Sanskrit, that, that what they give with the daughter is called stridan. It belongs to the daughter. It's her, you know, gold, jewelry. Kind of so she has, in case the husband gets killed in the war, or, you know, 
anything goes wrong, she's got something. Потому что, например, почему это делается? Потому что если в случае войны муж погибает, то тогда она не остается ни с чем. Not that the man takes all the money and kicks the daughter out. Это не то, что that happens in modern society. Это не то, что муж собирает все драгоценности, деньги и вышвыривает эту дочь потом. И такие вещи происходят сейчас. This kali yuga. Many things we can only explain. It's kali yuga. You know? How can how can anything be so crazy as it is? Объяснение тому, какие сумасшедшие вещи сегодня происходят, единственное этому объяснение сегодня может быть это то, что Кали-Юга. So we have to be careful not to be influenced by our Kali-Yuga background. И нам надо быть очень осторожными, чтобы не подпадать под власть нашим you know, Кали-Южным прошлым. There's so many bad things about Kali-Yuga. Есть очень много нехороших вещей, связанных с Кали-Югом. So Prabhupada saying everyone is a sudra. Born sudra. Because their activities are sudra. Here, Prabhupada saying in Kali Yuga, everyone will be like sudra. Sometimes he says, born sudra. Тут говорится, что Прабхупада говорит, что в Кали Югу будут все как шудры, а в других местах он говорит, что рождены шудрами. So they're thinking they're following the traditional cult, but they've perverted everything. Они думают, что они следуют традиционной культуре и традиции, но они все извратили. Brahmanas, you know, demand a salary to teach. They want fee. A Brahmana требует зарплаты за того, чтобы преподавать или преподавать. This is my fee. То есть у них есть какая-то стандартная сумма, которую надо платить. They have a pamphlet. То есть у них есть какие-то ценники. This yoga is so much money, so much. So, то есть такая-то услуга стоит столько, то такая-то столько. And it gets really perverted. И это становится еще более извращенным. In Indonesia, there's many Brahmanas, Indians are there. В Индонезии много индусов Брахманов. They become quite, especially in Jakarta, the big city, quite separated from tradition. И они очень отдаляются в большом городе Джакарта. Они особенно отдаляются там от традиции. So the temple president there is saying that the Indian people is trying to ask him to come and do the yagyas. И дошло до того, что они президента храма просят, чтобы он приходил проводить у них яги. Because these Brahmanas Asking for whiskey. Потому что эти браманы, они просят виски. If I do the yagya, you have to give me so many liters of such and such whiskey. Чтобы они требуют, что у них условия. Если я приду, чтобы провести яги, то мне должен кто-то там и виски дать. Even the common Hindu could understand that's wrong, you know. Поэтому даже they're not real Brahmanas. Поэтому даже среднестатистический индус понимает, что это не настоящие браманы. If they ask for money, they might say that's okay. Но если, например, просят деньги, то можно еще как-то согласиться. But the real Brahmana, they they just take whatever they get. They teach anyway. They sit down. They teach. Они берут все, что им дают, и они готовы учить любого. And the dakshin is whatever they get. They live. They live by. Это все, что им дадут. И так они живут в соответствии с этим. Нету какой-то. But long ago that started changing. Фиксированные платы. Я давно это уже начал менять. Schools became organized. Школы стали организованы. Teachers get paid. Учителям платят зарплаты. And now these teachers go on strike. And then there's no school. I think it was in Nigeria. It was a year or two that all the universities were closed. The teachers were all on strike because they couldn't. They weren't getting paid enough to live. Government, you know, is taking all the money. They don't pay. They don't care. But. This is crazy. It happens everywhere. But the brahmanas, the real brahmanas, they don't do that. And they do the yagyas. But now the brahmanas, they tell people, you know, they've convinced people that, like, if their daughter is getting married, if they don't have the yagya by a brahman, then it'll be very wrong. The yagya is very expensive for people to afford. They convinced people that if there is a ceremony of marriage, if there is no yagya, then it will be very, very bad for them, and they will charge very high prices for these yagya. So that's why brahmanas were not happy with Lord Chaitanya. So that's why brahmanas were not happy with Lord Chaitanya. Because even then they had that business set up. Потому что уже тогда у них начался вот такого рода бизнес. For everything you need a yagya, and only the brahman and the brahman. Только для для всего, что вы хотите сделать, нужна yagya, и только брахман может это сделать. You have a child, you get married, you you plow your field, anything you're going to do. Если ребенок хотите пожениться, еще что-либо случилось для всего. And Lord Chaitanya said, you don't need all the yagya, just chant Hare Krishna. А Господь Читания пришел и сказал, вам не нужны все эти yagya, просто успевайте ходить. So they were thinking he's ruining our business. И они думали 
начал разрушать наш бизнес. So they started, they told the Kazi, he's bogus. И поэтому они обратились к Казе и сказали, что он самозванец, он не настоящий индус. И это громкое пение, это просто беспокойство для всех. The Kazi, being a Muslim, he, he didn't know anything. So he thought the Brahmins must be right. А так как Кази был мусульманином, он ничего не знал о традициях, и он думал, наверняка, раз это Брахманы сказали, то они правы. So it's not a new thing. Bhakti Siddhanta was attacked by the caste Brahmins. И это не какая-то новая вещь. Также Бхакти Сиданта Сарасвати был атакован кастовыми Брахманами. And I was just reading when Prabhupada, especially went to South India. И я недавно читал про Упада, когда отправился в Северную Индию. They're quite strict about their those. И там они очень как бы педантично относительно своей касты. Правопад argued with people all the time. А и правопад очень сильно там ругался с людьми. Because they're saying making these lowborn people into brahmanas or sannyasis. И он как бы критиковал за то, что он низкорожденных превращал в браманов и в саньяси. Правопад said, I'm just following Krishna. А правопад отвечал, я следую только Кришне. И он просто разбивал их шастрами. Some guys could understand, but many they just argued. А многие кто-то мог его понять, но многие просто хотели, но как бы спорили или ругались. The body said, I remember one. They said some brahmana came and he was in Prabhupada's room and they just heard him screaming, you know, fighting. И как-то преданные рассказывали, что какой-то браман пришел про упади в комнату и они оттуда просто крики доносились. Then after he's gone, Prabhupada told the devotees he was saying, you know, that. You people can't be brahmanas. You can't worship deities. You can't. Что тот утверждал, что люди не могут становиться брахманами, что они не можете поклоняться божествам. Правда, я не принимал это. А правопада не принимал это. So we see the result. Now people are more or less understanding because so many is gone. Devotees have become first-class scholars. So many people 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 have become So the next verse carries on. Yam harmya prishte kvanad angri shobam vikrida tim kunduka vivalakshim vivas viva vasur napatat shad vimanad vilokya samoha vimuda chetaha. I have heard that vishva vasu. The great Gandharva, his mind stupefied with infatuation, fell out of his airplane after seeing her daughter playing with the ball on the roof of the palace, for she was so beautiful, with her tinkling ankle bells and eyes moving to and fro. Говорят, что когда великий Гандхар Вишва Васу увидел, как твоя дочь играла с мячом на крыше дворца, он оцепенел, потеряв голову от любви, и выпал из своего воздушного корабля. Она и прям была прекрасна. Колокольчики у нее на ногах нежно звенели, а ее глаза все время находились в движении, следя за полетом меча. It is understood that not only at the present moment, but in those days there were skyscrapers. Here and we find the word harmya prishte. Harmya means very big palatial building. Swad vimanat means from his own airplane. It is suggested that private airplanes or helicopters were also current. The Gandharva Vishva Vasu, while flying in the sky, could see Devahuti playing ball on the roof of the palace. Ball playing was also current, but aristocratic girls would not play in public. Ball playing and other such pleasures were not meant for ordinary women and girls. Only princesses like Devahuti could indulge in such sports. It is described here that she was seen from the flying airplane. This indicates that the palace was quite high. Otherwise, how could one see her from an airplane? The vision was so distinct that the Gandharva Vishvavasu was bewildered by her beauty and by hearing the sound of her ankle bangles and being captivated by the sound and beauty, he fell down. Kardamumni mentioned that as he had heard it. It was famous. I guess. Yeah, he heard about it. <laughs> Из данного стиха следует, что уже в те времена на земле были небоскребы. Здесь употреблено слово «хармия приштхе». «Хармия» переводится как «очень высокий дворец». «Свад вина, вина на» значит «из своего аэроплана». Отсюда можно заключить, что личные аэропланы или вертолеты существовали даже в те далекие времена. Пролетая по небу, Гандхар Вишвавасу увидел, как Девахути играл с мечом на крыше дворца. 
Игра в мяч тоже существовала в то время, однако девушки из знатных семей никогда не играли в мяч на виду у людей. Игра в мяч и другие развлечения подобного рода были недоступны для простых женщин и девушек. Их могли позволить себе только царевны, такие как Девахути. Здесь говорится, что Вишвавасу увидел Девахути, пролетая мимо на аэроплане. Это значит, что дворец был очень высоким, иначе как бы Вишвавасу мог увидеть девушку с аэроплана. Он видел ее так отчетливо, что был сражен ее красотой. Заглядевшись на царевну и заслушавшись звуками колокольчиков, звеневших на ее ногах, он выпал из своего аэроплана. Кардама Муни рассказал об этом случае то, что сам слышал от других. Я всегда был захвачен этим комментарием. Относительно игры в мяч. Like we see on the beach, all these girls. Потому что сейчас мы, например, видим на пляже, что вот все эти девушки они играют. As close to naked as possible. И и максимально близки к голому состоянию они играют. And playing that beach volleyball. Или вот этот волейбол пляжный играют. And I read that in the I don't know if it was Olympic or some big contest, the beach volleyball, the women's beach volleyball. Я не помню, я читал где-то, это было какое-то соревнование пляжного волейбола для женщин. The Saudi Arabia team couldn't enter. И Сауда, команда из Саудовской Аравии не могла участвовать в этом. Because the rule was they have to wear bikini. Из-за того, что правило в этой игре для выступления, что девушки должны одеваться в бикини. So what is the purpose? Because that then everybody's going to watch it on TV. То есть какова цель для того, чтобы просто все потом bouncing around? По телеку смотрели, как у девушек все прыгает. Because it agitated even this big Gandharva. Потому что это вот даже. She obviously was not, you know, she was dressed. Даже это встревожило ум Гандарва. But там она чуть не была одета как следует. So this Kali Yuga is just so far advanced. То есть это Kali Yuga очень сильно продвинулась. Like all those girls joined the Hari Nam the other night, and I thought I couldn't. You know, make a movie or put it on Facebook or anything. Not suitable for publication. But they don't know; they're just following the fashion. And they get used to that. But they somehow they all come and they were chanting. Not only that. Take pictures. So the sound that the devotees are saving everybody. То есть преданные таким образом спасают всех. So even Cardamuni had heard about this, so that's you know interesting that even in such a place he was, this news came. То есть интересно, что Кардамуни говорит, что он слышал об этой истории от кого-то. Интересно тем, что даже до того места, где жил Кардамуни, доходили новости. So anyway, it's culture that you know that the king had told him how wonderful his daughter was, and then he's confirming that. И такова культура, что отец царя сказал, какова, как прекрасна его дочь, когда в Амуне он подтвердил это. Devotees should be looking, you know, for if they're looking for marriage, for devotees. Преданные, если они заинтересованы в том, чтобы, ну, пожениться или выйти замуж, они должны искать преданных. You know, someone that's simple and dedicated. Кто-то, кто прост и целеустремлен. And for either man or woman, both. And understand there's a big commitment there, so. И понять, что есть очень большое, ну как бы, ну ответственность. Make sure you have similar ideas about life. И надо убедиться, что у вас есть похожие идеи относительно жизни. These so-called love marriages, which is most of the world. И так называемые браки по любви, то, что сейчас делают в большинстве своем в мире, они как бы их захватывает какое-то вожделебное умонастроение, играют друг друга. А потом, спустя какое-то время, когда это проходит, они просто понимают, что у них абсолютно разные идеи относительно жизни, относительно будущего. They used to have a saying in America. There was even a movie called "The Seven-Year Itch." Есть такое пословица в Америке, и даже в фильме есть такое, что 
That a- after seven years they start thinking, oh, maybe I got the wrong one. This one might be better. Last I heard they called the two year itch now. <laughs> Sometimes it's a two week. <laughs> it happens at the wedding reception. Start fighting and get divorced. These are two things they really have. They're so lusty, crazy. And whatever type of relation we have, if we're taking a guru or anything, I think, you know, you know what is our position? And the guru has to also be careful about disciples. The guru initiates unqualified people just because they give him a lot of money or something. Or it would be prestigious because it's a very famous person. So we're we're trying to bring everybody and you know, we have to elevate people. Мы пытаемся привлечь всех и возвысить сознание их. Faith in the holy name, that the power of the holy name can change people. We see it happening like you know, so many devotees all over the world. И мы видели, что это произошло уже с таким большим количеством преданных по всему миру. The power of the holy name and the why that we can even chant is absolutely mercy. И силу святого имени вообще в принципе Somebody asks you, why do you chant? You know, what are you going to say? Right? Anybody? Why do you chant? If you ask, why do you chant? What will you say? The heart is purified. The heart is love. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Why do you chant? Where did it? Почему вы воспеваете? Откуда это? When you first chanted, was that why you were looking to purify your heart? Что, когда первый раз вы воспели, вы что хотели сердце очистить? Просто это счастье, благодать, тебе больше ничего не нужно. Because it gives such a happiness that you don't need nothing else. Right. Yeah. Why did you chant? Но почему? First place. Первый раз почему вообще вы начали повторять? By mercy of Krishna. <laughs> That's what I've concluded. We should understand that. It's, and that we can even keep chanting, that even we understand it gives these things. It's just total mercy. The Sankirtan movement is total mercy. Это полная тотальная милость. Движение Санкиртана надо просто чистить. Causeless mercy. Без причинная милость. There's no reason why Lord Chaitanya chose you to chant. Why me? Well, we can think, well, I was down and out. I was this, right? I had studied so much. Tried so many other things. Why he somehow he just causes him mercy to the most fallen? So if we keep that mood like that, like Naratam, then we keep chanting. <coughs> and be thankful for the devotees, because that's why we can chant. Devotees, somehow a devotee went out and was chanting or distributing books. And somehow we were able to contact. The chances are, you know, described. One example is given if there's a wood floating on the river. And the wood has a hole in it. And the turtle that's underwater sticks his head up and it happens to go through that hole. That's what the chances are in this Kali Yuga, you know, meeting a devotee. But somehow we did. And then somehow or other we're allowed to associate 
И так или иначе нам как-то было позволено взаимодействовать с преданными, общаться. So we constantly thank Lord Nityananda. Нам надо постоянно благодарить Господа, потому что он наиболее милостивый. Он представитель Господа Чайтани. Not different, but different. But he's even more merciful than Lord Chaitanya. That, that example is by Jagai and Madai. So I wasn't on the Facebook when I read that. Hari Hari Bipale. So I'm just going to read it again. Things disappear. No, it's easy to find, but this Naratam Das Thakur, he just after some time he just stayed in front of his deities and wrote all these songs. Because he had so many disciples. He was criticized because he was from theoretically Sudra family. Although his father was some kind of a king, but, um, considered Sudra. So he was making disciples that were Brahmanas. The brahmanas weren't so happy about that. So these puffed up brahmanas, they were the kings. They told the king and they said this guy should be punished or killed or something. And so they went to uh, challenge him. And and so some of his disciples heard about it. I forget their names, but they were both from very high Brahmin. Yeah. So they went to the village where this king's group was camping out. And they disguised. So one was a Panwala, you know, that, the leaf with the red stuff that the Indians chew on. And one was a shoemaker. So these brahmanas went into the town. And, you know, they went to get their pan and and the Panwala started speaking in Sanskrit. And challenged them. And completely smashed them in debate. And the same thing happened with the shoemaker. So they were completely bewildered. They said, who are you? They said, well, we're just low disciples of Naratam. <laughs> so they thought, we better not go talk to him. <laughs> if these disciples who are, you know, such low-class people can be so scholarly, and then what about him? And then they, they told the king, we better forget it. And they actually became disciples. Yeah. But this is, this cast people are always going. So the, just a translation, Hari Hari Bipale, again, Prabhupada said this was his favorite bhajan. My Lord Hari, I've wasted my life. Oh, I've taken this rare human birth. I've not served Radha and Krishna, and I have knowingly drunk poison. Всю свою жизнь я сознательно пил яд, ибо родивший человек ко мне поклонялся Раде и Кришне. 
in Golokera Premadana. The treasure of the divine love in Goloka Vrindavan has descended. It's the congregational chanting of Lord Hari's holy names. Why did my attraction for that chanting never come about? Day and night my heart burns in the fire of poison of worldliness, and I have not accepted the means for relieving it. Сокровище Божественной Любви Галоки Вриндавана не зашло на землю в виде совместного пения святых имен Господа Хари. Почему же это пение так и не привлекло меня? И днем и ночью я от мирской суеты жжет мне сердце, и я не воспользовался возможностью избавиться от этих страданий. Lord Krishna, the son of the king of Braja, became the son of Sachi, and Balaram became Nitai. The holy name delivered all those souls who were lowly and wretched. The two sinners, Jagai and Madai, are evidence of this. Господь Кришна, сын царя Враджа, стал сыном Шачи, Господом Чайтания, Баларам и Нитая. Святое имя спасло всех падших и несчастных, и пример тому два грешника Джагай и Мадай. О Lord Krishna, son of Nanda, accompanied by the daughter of Vishabhanu, please be merciful to me now. Nartam Das says, O Lord, please do not push me away from your lotus feet for who is my beloved but you O Господь Кришна О Сын Нанды всегда пребывающий в обществе дочери в Ришабану пожалуйста будь милостив ко мне О мой Господь не прогоняй меня от своих красноватых лотосных стоп ибо мне некого любить кроме тебя так говорит Наратама Дас ok question or comment какие-то комментарии или вопросы I have a question ok my question is uh, 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 if uh, people from that the practicing other sampradaya, they want to come to temple, uh, how should we act? Another in in this occasion, another question: If for some reason in one place there's people from other sampradaya they are chanting, uh, should we avoid this chanting, or it's okay to chant in the same place? No, it's good. Because Prabhupada preferred to have our own programs. But Sometimes, you know, we can get a good audience because you know, and like devotees go to this festival in America, there's one called the Bhakti Fest. So all these so-called Bhaktis are there and they have their kirtan. But the devotees, they not only chant on stage, but they And they have their place, and they make a few devotees. A lot of people come. So to be careful not to get too intimate with these. But having our own is preferable. Preferable to have a program as just us. No, предпочтительнее, чтобы у нас было наши свои программы там где только мы. When Prabhupada was in Japan, he was invited by the Hindus. And the, there was a Mayavadi speaking. And Prabhupada was sitting there. And then he, all of a sudden he said, start Kirtan. Right in the middle of the sky. And they had... Of course, they made a big curtain. And he left. So it really upset the Hindus. But Prabhupada said, he was talking all right, but then he started to say that everybody is Krishna or something like that. You know, you can be Radha and Krishna. He said, I couldn't take that. I could not tolerate that. <laughs> but that's why he mostly liked to have you know, our own program. Otherwise, you, people hear all kinds of stuff, and then they hear us, but it doesn't really... But still, if we have a chance, and there's a lot of people that can join the kirtan, they might get touched by the devotee's kirtan. 
Ну, то есть нам надо стараться свои программы иметь. Но если там у нас так уже получилось, что в каком-то месте там идет киртан, то мы можем поучаствовать в киртане, потому что воспевание преданного может затронуть что-то сердце. Если ну, можно уточнить по поводу браков по любви, особенно с непреданными, если это во многом помогает больше ну, делать преданное служение. Если брак по любви помогает делать, больше делать преданное служение. С непреданными. Да. То это нормально или нужно что-то делать? His question is if there is a marriage that was conducted by how you said by love. But this uh, marriage, it supports the devotional service. So is it good or should I do something? No, it's okay. Sometimes it's okay. But the, like in India, for instance, where they have this distinct love marriage, and the, the, the percentage of divorce in the love marriage is very high. То есть это нормально, если это работает, но есть случаи, например, в Индии, там, вот в этих вот uh, браках по любви, то процент разводов там очень высокий. Not a hundred percent. Не сто процентов. Some turn out very good. Yeah. Некоторые семьи у них все-таки все классно складывается. Love, so you know, they call it love. Они это называют любовью, но в большинстве случаев это просто разделение было. No, whatever supports devotional service is good. Все, yeah. все, что поддерживает преданное служение, это хорошо. Uh, yesterday you talked something that uh, we should release uh, our anarchas, something like this you mentioned yesterday. So he's asking how to uh, release our anarchas, get rid of them. Those are unnecessary things. We have to cultivate necessary things. That's how we do it. It's like, you know, there's many, many things now about how to get rid of you know, bad habits. It, it always means you try to get a new habit, a better one. Сейчас очень много как бы таких вот учений о том, как приобрести хорошую привычку. И они обычно заключаются в том, что мы просто это делаем за счет приобретения новой хорошей привычки. Okay. I ask also? Yeah. Just c clarify one point about my question. Uh, when you said we, when we chant in Kirtan, then so if there are some devotees that it can touch people's heart, but uh, may, may it be uh, dangerous to devotee because the under chanting, if not devotional people, it may... Yeah, may that's the risk. И он, я спросила, что я хотела уточнить, что yeah. мы если воспеваем не с преданными, например, то, ну, и воспевать там с ними преданы, то другие могут как-то воодушевиться. Но может же произойти так, что преданный он как-то сквернится. И он говорит, что в этом и заключается опасность, риск как бы. Yeah, if we have to sit and listen to all these Maya bodies chanting. Потому что если нам приходится слушать и сидеть и слушать воспевание, ну, разных Maya Vadi, например. Or worse than my voice. <laughs> Sometimes they have very nice music. And yeah. Devotees get bewildered. But, so that's the thing. That's why we prefer to have our own. But I, I, I was talking to some devotee. His name is Param Das. And his wife is... Uh, Gora Mani, very famous kirtan. They call themselves Braja Badu, I think. So, a few years ago they were traveling around India and chanting, 
And then they're getting invited more and more places now. So he was telling me the experience they have. So the most outstanding one was they got invited to a Osho. Osho is famous here, right? Sense gratification. <laughs> Before he was called Rajneesh. And then, I don't know, somehow he got that name, and it's a Japanese name, Osho. It means big leader. It also means something else, degraded, I can't remember. What so, they were thinking, well, maybe, you know, then they decided to go anyway. And they said, you know, there was many of the Osho people, Hare Krishna, what are they doing here? And they said, they were doing all their Osho, whatever they do, you know. They said, they, they told the Madhajis to sit behind him so they couldn't see what was going on. And then when they started kirtan, he said at first they weren't paying much attention. But this Goramani is very amazing, powerful. Chant. And gradually they started dancing and chanting. Goramani. And they really got into it. And I think he said something like he, 18 of them went back to Vrindavan with them. And a few of them started chanting 16 rounds. And they were saying, you know, we've been doing this Osho meditation for 10 years. We never felt anything in the heart. And this was just, you know, and they were, the one was just totally totally enamored by the deities. So, you know, if you, if you have the kirtan, you can get somewhere, you know. So not everybody can do that. But they're having that kind of experience with many yoga groups. And, but maybe then they were the only these people, they, you know, we've been meditating, doing something, or even chanting for years, but they never experienced it. But we have to be careful. Some of the devotees that go and chant with these people a lot, they say that, like, one, one asked him finally, you know, he said, I've been chanting this Govinda Jaya Jaya. He said, what, what do you think Govinda is anyway? And then I never know. They don't know what it is. They just pick up these songs. Yeah, and then he explained and they, they were quite happy with it. Okay. Another question came online here, but I, it's not for public discussion. Okay, and Vishaka managed to get on. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> and then now I'm getting messages from Facebook. It says, it looks like you're having trouble getting onto Facebook. Let us help you. But it's, I don't want to get on. I'm on all the time. <laughs> Christ says something like a hundred million people using it, you could expect that things go wrong once. 
So we owe all these people, you know, to to utilize these things for Krishna because they've done so much work to create these. И мы мы задолжали этим людям, которые изобрели все эти технологии, которые мы можем использовать для продвижения сознания Кришны. To for the Facebook, they have these servers, you know, that are huge things like. Для того чтобы запускать Facebook у них есть громадные станции. Not just some little thing like you know. Это не просто какая-то маленькая коробочка, это что-то другое. They have so many of them. I I saw the numbers, and they have them in the north of Sweden. И у них очень много серверов, у них есть там. You know where it's cold. На севере Швеции, например, там холодно. Because they could never have enough air conditioning. Потому что невозможно достаточно кондиционеров подключать под под такое количество серверов, поэтому они там холодно. You know they have to maintain all that so that. Это надо все поддерживать, чтобы. So many people, so we. Чтобы много людей так могли пользоваться. Devotees utilize these things for preaching and you know, bringing people to Krishna and everything. And the YouTube is like six thousand movies every hour put on. You know what it takes to maintain such a thing. Of course, they make a lot of money. But you know, we need to flood. All this, you know, with Krishna and all languages, so that when people get on, they'll find Krishna. Find me. There's so many kirtan and so many things. So we need to keep putting it out there, purifying all this atmosphere. Then all those people benefit. Not only the people that hear it, but the people that made the program. They get they get agata sukriti. They unknown benefit. Their work, you know, somehow helped to Even the city of Tel Aviv that made that beach walk so nice, and there's more people there than before. Right, that and that what they made on the down one, you know, with the chairs. So people are just captive, you know, when we go by, they're not going to move from the. But you know, Krishna has arranged it. But you know those people, they design, they work so hard, they spend so much money, so that we can reach more people if we take advantage. So probably he was walking in the park. He said, "So they made this nice park, and we're using it. No one else is there, you know." Прогуливался по этому парку. Он говорил, они сделали это хороший парк, и мы тут прогуливаемся. Никого другого тут нет. Okay, Shrimad Bhagavatam. Go or Premanandi? Mandakini. Which Mandakini is it? Narahari. It seems like our, our Narahari is there every day. Okay. Thank you, everybody.